The World Breastfeeding Week is an annual celebration held every year from August the 1st to the 7th in over 120 countries. And the World Health Organization states that breastfeeding is one of the most effective ways to ensure child health and survival. In Nigeria, the government has shared their targets for breastfeeding for the years to come, which is that Nigeria is expected to attain 50% exclusive breastfeeding targets by 2050. Well, joining us for more on this is the managing director, Vivian Hekwazu, this is the MD, Nigeria Health Watch, and she joins us now from Abuja Studios. Thank you for joining us on the program. Good evening, Millicent. Thank you for inviting me on your show. Welcome again. Tell us, how different is a child who is breastfed from one who isn't? Okay, well the WHO guidelines and um, most um, health guidelines state that a baby should be exclusively breastfed for the first six months of um, their lives. They should not be given anything further and the recommendation is they should be breastfed up until about two years but for the first six months they should be exclusively breastfed and um, they shouldn't be given any water or any other um, complementary foods or otherwise. I and mean, this is because um, breast milk is the most natural product that you can give a newborn baby. It contains all the nutrients. Um, the breast milk um, um, provides the, the baby with the antibodies it needs to stay healthy. And so breast milk really is the best start any mother can give to her child. So how would you say COVID-19 has impacted the role of breastfeeding in child development? Well, at the onset of the pandemic, I'm sure um, there was a lot of anxiety around the impact that um, COVID-19 would have on breastfeeding. But the guidelines have remained the same. Um, women have been advised to continue breastfeeding um, irrespective because breastfeeding really is the most natural way you can protect a baby when they're born. Um, the, the same health precautionary measures that we are all advised to take, we should adhere to. The basic hand hygiene, um, washing our hands, um, keeping a distance, all those things are recommended for um, pregnant women and nursing mothers um, to protect themselves and their babies. But ultimately, irrespective of um, whatever is happening and the pandemic, women have been advised to continue to breastfeed because that is the best way any baby can start their lives. Some questions also abound, especially for those who feel who might suspect that they have COVID-19. Uh, what are they expected to do then? Okay, there's a lot, I mean, as I mentioned, you know, there's a lot of anxiety initially as to what um, pregnant women should do if they suspect or if they come into contact with somebody who may be suspected of having COVID-19. Um, but the most natural thing for, um, the best thing a mother can still do is um, continue to breastfeed. I mean, now, especially with, you know, you mentioned in the earlier part of the, in the early part of the show with variants, etc., cetera, um, that, are, that are taking hold across the world, um, for any nursing mother, and for all of us really, um, when you have a newborn baby, all the precautionary measures you would take um, when you're trying to prevent COVID-19, pregnant women should continue to do. But um, once a baby is born, especially within the first hour, that early initiation of um, breastfeeding is absolutely critical because it enables you know, a mother to bond with her child and enables her, the baby to get that first productive and most nutritious um, colostrum, the early milk that a woman produces once she's had a baby, um, to be fed to the baby. And this, these, these are the defenses, really, um, um, that enable a baby to um, stay healthy. In Nigeria, we have many health challenges. We've got 37% of babies are, are, um, are stunted. And this is a big, big, big issue that we, we, have, we have got a lot of work to do still. So really breastfeeding remains the, the best start any baby um, can get when they, um, when they are born and the best thing a mother can do um, when they, when they, once they've just, just given birth. All right, um, as we wrap up, um, if I confirm that I have COVID-19 and I'm a lactating mother, can I still breastfeed my child? And then the federal government has announced that, you know, um, neonatal deaths have been sort of averted, um, you know, for it recently in Nigeria. How well is Nigeria's world doing? And this is the kind of workplace policies that exist for lactating mothers. An example is the less than six months maternity, or some would say paternity leave um, for, for women, for workers. 
Okay, well, that's a very good question. Um, for the, taking your first question about lactating mothers, there's actually been no evidence that um, COVID-19 can be passed on to breast milk. So women are advised to continue to breastfeed um, because um, that is really the best way you can provide your child with, with um, defense. And, you know, unfortunately with the variants, um, women are, are more vulnerable now. Um, and so in as much as we talk about um, protecting women, we've, we haven't even mentioned the, the impact of um, ensuring that, that pregnant women get vaccinated. Um, that really is the best way for them to protect themselves and their babies. Um, yes, and leading on to your second question, the theme this year of breastfeeding is protect breastfeeding, a shared responsibility. And that shared responsibility is one that's born by workplaces, born by communities, born by families. Um, and in the workplace, currently, we have about three months um, um, uh, maternity leave um, for new mothers. And the advice is really to support women as they start and continue their breastfeeding journey by extending maternity leave um, to about six months. I think COVID-19 has really shown us that flexible working is possible. So the, 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 the plea is uh, for, for health, for workplaces to support women to continue to breastfeed up until six months so that they can continue to exclusively breastfeed their children for the minimum, for the minimum of six months and thereafter continue to breastfeed. So that shared responsibility is also, um, you know, the role of the workplace uh, because you know these are the future if these are the future of the country so the best we can do to ensure that um, we have a healthy generation growing um, the best we can do for Nigeria as a country we'd like to thank you so much uh, public health advocates Vivian Hikwazu uh, managing director health Nigeria watch thank you so much for your expertise and time on the thank program thank you so much Melissa for your time Still to come on the program, a third wave of COVID-19 rages across Africa as deaths reach record peak. We have the figures when we return.